It's cold, hey? Alyssa Patterson says it was never a question to get two-year-old Avery vaccinated against COVID-19. We always knew that we were going to do it. We've gotten her all of her other vaccines, and um, I follow a lot of scientists online who all have vaccinated their children. But little Avery is a bit of a rarity. Recent numbers from the Public Health Agency of Canada show 6.5% of kids under 5 have one dose of vaccine, 1% have two doses. Coverage for COVID vaccine for kids under 5 is quite strikingly low. Shannon McDonald studies immunization policy and practice. She says research shows a parent's intention to vaccinate changes based on the age of their child. We've seen that um, with COVID vaccines that, you know, what, what you're willing to do with a 12-year-old is different than a 5-year-old, different than a 2-year-old. So it's, it's, um, it's partly around a parental choice thing. Young kids may have a lower risk of serious illness, but doctors say COVID-19 can be random. It's hard to predict which ones uh, are going to require, uh, require hospitalization, which ones might be more complicated, as most of the kids who are hospitalized with Omicron actually don't have an underlying risk factor. This fall, there have been soaring numbers of kids getting respiratory viruses. Doctors say this youngest age group could use the extra line of defense, especially as people move indoors during the cold. So I think that's our greatest concern is that if there is another variant, will we be ready and will our pediatric population be protected in as adequate a way as we can? I mean, every parent just wants to protect their child and everyone's doing the best they can and making the decisions they feel are right for them and their family and that's all they can do. Experts say sharing information about vaccine safety and effectiveness could help boost uptake. They also say it comes down to relationships between parents and their physicians and the trust between them. Julia Wong, CBC News, Edmonton.